credit card debt keeps going up and up, hitting a record high as interest rates soar. The National News Desk's Angela Brown looks into one promise made on the campaign trail that might change that. President-elect Donald Trump and Senator Bernie Sanders far apart on many issues, but not this. And while working Americans catch up, we're going to put a temporary cap on credit card interest rates at 10 percent. We have no choice. A promise Trump made on the campaign trail, now backed by Bernie Sanders, posting this on X. I look forward to working with the Trump administration on fulfilling its promise to cap credit card interest rates at 10 percent. But Congress has been down this road before. Well, you know, it's interesting because liberal Congress people like Bernie Sanders and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, like they proposed a credit card cap a few years ago that was actually quite a bit higher at 15%. And that didn't go anywhere in Congress. You just heard from Ted Rossman from Bankrate. He says the while lower interest rate sounds good, it could have consequences with banks making less profits. Credit access would be limited. Rewards would likely go away for those who are paying in full. The Federal Reserve has raised interest rates 11 times between March of 2022 and July of 2023. Republican Josh Hawley proposed an 18 percent cap last year on credit card interest rates. In Washington, D.C., I'm Angela Brown. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley continues to push for that cap, stating credit card companies are ripping off customers. Let's take a live look to X this morning, where Hawley ranks, quote, average credit card interest rates are near 30 percent. It's a total ripoff. Congress should cap them. Donald Trump has endorsed a credit card cap. Let's get it done, end quote. Now, this comes after he grilled credit card companies over those high prices at a Senate committee just yesterday, calling the rates classic monopoly behavior.